Everybody who's spent more than two minutes playing with ChatGPT or other large language models knows that artificial intelligence is a new amazing form of technology and like everybody, I'm guilty of overhyping it and probably overusing it. But to be a bit more realistic, AI has some important risks for construction contractors and construction managers that we need to talk about. In this video, I'm gonna lay out what these are and what you can do to mitigate them. The first one is data security and confidentiality. Using AI tools without understanding what's happening with your data almost certainly mean that you're breaking contract intellectual property clauses or your company's policies. The contracts your company signs as head contracts or as a subcontractor will almost certainly specify that you can't share intellectual property such as contracts, drawings, other sorts of documentation without prior written approval. Many free and cheap AI tools almost certainly state that they use the data you provide them to train their models. The reality is everybody wants to use AI. So if you're a construction contractor or a company, you should be setting up your own private large language model where your data is not used for these purposes. Number two is a big one, and I'm definitely guilty of it, is over-reliance and skill degradation. There was some incredibly disturbing, or at least I find incredibly disturbing studies that showed that workers who rely heavily on AI tools had a 40% reduction in critical thinking. Any sort of complex construction decision will rely on understanding the site conditions, the weather, the personalities, the specific challenges our project faces, and these are nuances AI misses. So if you're relying on an AI to tell you what to do, it's almost certainly not got all the context and information to be able to do it as effectively as you if you put the effort into making the correct decision. When we outsource thinking on complex problems, we get generic solutions, not the optimal solution. On top of this, a lot of junior staff and other team members may not develop that same critical thinking and experience as more experienced construction managers who develop their careers without these tools. The clearest mitigation I can see for this is to have a clear distinction or to train people on what to best use AI for and what to not use AI for. The third risk with AI tools is the commoditization of your competitive advantage. If everyone uses ChatGPT or other AI tools to prepare their proposals, then clients are always seeing the exact same thing and they don't become distinctive, they don't become, you lose your competitive advantage. McKinsey actually found that companies that use AI tools in preparing tender submissions or submissions for quoting for client works actually saw a 23% decrease in their win rates. What happens is your decades of experience, your unique competitive advantage gets flattened into a generic response. Clients can't differentiate between you and your competitors and they all they see is a generic response and a commoditized service. Again, I don't think the answer to this is not to use AI at all. I think the answer is to work out how to develop your own custom AI through context engineering and managing the context and tailoring your prompts and responses to getting the output that reflects your unique competitive advantage. The next challenge construction companies are gonna face when adopting AI tools is a loss of innovation. This more or less relates to the previous point I made about AI impacting people's ability to think critically. At the end of the day, artificial intelligence are models that are trained on huge amounts of data. Yes, they can relate concepts together, but they can't come up with new ideas. In my experience in the industry, all the true innovation I've seen is unique problems solved with unique solutions, which goes fundamentally against this way of AI using huge amounts of data to train models and reproduce the most likely response. An interesting study by the Boston Consulting Group found that in an analysis of 500 engineering design firms that relied heavily on the use of AI, reduced the number of patent applications by 31% compared to their peers that weren't using AI tools. I thought that was a fascinating study and highlighted this exact problem, that if people are relying on AI to tell them what to do, they're not going to be coming up with new ways of doing things. The key takeaway here in mitigation is that you should be using AI more or less for execution and automation, not for ideation, not for coming up with new ideas, but for executing on those ideas. Now, 
The final risk that I want to talk about is the fragmentation and shadow IT that is going to form in some of these construction companies if they aren't quick to adopt these AI tools. We can all agree that unbelievably powerful and unbelievably useful for a broad range of construction management tasks but if companies don't allow workers to use them because of the challenges with data privacy or security or other concerns the reality is people are going to start using them on their phones or find workaround solutions 76 percent of construction workers admit using personal ai tools for work tasks without IT's approval. That is something I definitely saw at my old company. People using these tools outside of their company's permission causes these exact types of security concerns. The company should get on the front foot and develop solutions to some of these challenges before employees start using them in the wrong way. The last one, again, which is a huge roadblock to AI adoption in the construction industry and something that I think is going to be increasingly spoken about is the loss of accountability. If you use AI to prepare a safe work method statement, generate an estimate or review a contract and you're relying on the output of the AI, who is accountable if it's wrong? The AI said so won't hold up in court and we're already seeing insurance companies beginning to exclude AI related errors from professional liability insurance and coverage, which for construction companies where things can go very badly, very fast, that is an incredibly important thing to be aware of. Now, I think there's two ways to mitigate this. Number one, any AI generated input needs to have some documented human review and approval. Someone has to click a button to say they approve it or to only use AI in a certain specific way, use it more for checking and verifying than for generating new content. For example, if you're producing a construction estimate, still do the estimate yourself, but you're using AI as an extra level of security and checking. 